Hello, I'm Dan Toppy, and welcome back to another brand new Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video. Today, I'm going to give you my top 5 tips on how to get the most bloodthirsties in every single game, so you can earn that golden camo by getting the Spectrum camo a lot quicker than you can normally. The Spectrum camo is by far the hardest camo to complete when you are trying to get golden camos on all your weapons in Call of Duty Black Ops 4, so I wanted to make this video to help you out because to get the Spectrum camo, you need to get 5 bloodthirsty medals, which is going on 5 5 kill streaks, and this can be quite hard for some people, especially on harder weapons like snipers and also with assault rifles in some cases so I want to give you my top five tips how to get those five kill streaks in the quickest and easiest ways possible these are just general tips how to get more bloodthirsties but if you want more specific ones for each individual weapon make sure you check out my going for gold players which will be linked in the comments down below and on the end card at the end of the video these are episodes where I tell you exactly what you need to do to earn the golden camo on each weapon in the game and I will be working on completing all those weapons in the future so getting straight into it my first tip how to get the most bloodthirsty you can is definitely make sure you're always playing to the gun strengths often when you are trying to go for these bloodthirsties you might change the way you're playing you need to make sure that you're always playing to the strengths of the weapons because if you do play to the strength of the weapon if you are using an assault rifle or a sniper make sure you are staying at further ranges because this will give you more an advantage over other players who have smgs even if they are a better player than you if you play to the gun strengths you can do more damage in that situation then you will get the kill even if they are naturally a better player just because you can do more damage and kill them quicker than they can so if it is more of a longer range weapon make sure you are sitting back getting those easy kills at further ranges and if it's a fast firing weapon like an smg or a shotgun make sure you are really close up so you can get those kills catching them off guard and when your gun will be better in that situation if you come up against an assault rifle when you do have an smg at close quarters then you should always be able to get the kill over them just because your weapon is better suited for that situation and the next tip is quite closely linked to this the next tip is make sure you're always staying calm often when you do get towards completing that bloodthirst when you get to that third or fourth kill you can start to panic you can start to try and run to get those kills and change the way that you're playing which might mean you start using the weapon in a situation where it isn't best suited for it so you might start running in with an assault rifle and you'll lose the gunfights because you come up against a player who's using a weapon which is better for that situation so just try and stay calm actively think about always playing to the gun strengths make sure that you are always staying playing the same way don't start to change it just because you are almost completing the bloodthirsty but starting to camp that last kill can also be just as bad as rushing because if you do start to camp then players will just start running up on you and they might take you off guard when you are sitting in the same position so just always try and play the same and don't change what you are playing when you get to that final kill and if you are really focusing on just getting these bloodthirsties because normally it is the final camo that you need to complete when going for that golden camo you will be focusing on it you will naturally be playing a bit differently trying to get those so sometimes if you do is change weapon and then go back to that weapon an hour or two later then you will be playing a little bit more normally with it be a little bit more relaxed less annoyed at completing those challenges and often you'll find you can do them straight away tip number three is make sure you're always playing on the right maps and game modes because maps and game modes do make a big effect on the pace of the game and how you can play with your weapons so what i'd say is make sure you're always playing on linear maps maps which generally just have three lanes all go in a straight line if it's a bit of a mess like on something like firing range you might struggle but something like arsenal where players generally are just coming straight at you and on a game mode like domination where spawns are pretty fixed can normally assume the players will be in front of you so you don't really need to worry about getting shot in the back on something like free for all on firing range of spawns be a right mess players everywhere and you can often get caught off guard so playing on something like arsenal or another three lane map on domination where players are always coming from generally the same point you should be able to stay alive a lot longer it makes players a lot more predictable if you know where they're coming from you can set up pre-aim and you should be able to get those kills a lot more easier next is your class make sure you are checking this and change it if you need to after you did your headshot camos Sometimes using the class for the headshots isn't always the best for doing these. So for a gun with good iron sights, you might want to take off the red dot sight or anything you've got on from doing the headshot camos and put on another attachment which will help you to get kills a lot more easier. And this also works if your gun doesn't have too much recoil on it. Maybe you put a grip on just to get that recoil completely down. But if it doesn't have too much recoil, you can then take that grip off, replace it with something like long barrel, which means you can get kills at further ranges. So basically, you just need to make your class the easiest to use and most effective in as many situations as possible. And and always make sure you're running dead silence because you need this on to do this just so enemies don't hear where you are and give yourself away if they don't know where you're coming from then you can get kills a lot easier than they can when they do hear you coming and finally a super simple tip but something which is really important make sure you are only using the weapon don't use any specialist abilities equipment like grenades or anything else to get the kill make sure that all five kills on that bloodthirsty come only from that weapon otherwise it won't count towards your streak and your bloodthirsty won't count towards completing your spectrum camera but they are my top five tips 
tips on how to get Bloodthirsties and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 as quickly and easily as possible so you can complete that Spectrum camo and earn the Golden Camos on your weapons. So thanks for watching, if you're new here make sure you subscribe to see more videos just like this one. If you want help with each individual weapon make sure you check out my going through your playlist which is linked on screen now. If this video has been helpful then please make sure you leave it a like and I'll see you in the next video.